You know, on average, we make grants uh, uh, totaling about 900,000 per year. Our grants target three areas, economic development, education, and emerging issues. Additionally, we invest in building the capacity of our grantees and in building the field through networking and research. A highlight of our work together are the multi-day learning trips we do in Israel. And we do those approximately every 18 months, but obviously with COVID that's been put on hold, but we're looking forward uh, to resuming that as soon as possible. In 2016, we became part of the Jewish Funders Network and there's more info on the JFN website about us. So here's how our time will be structured. We're going to see very soon four clips of prepared by our four outstanding grantees that you're gonna be seeing today. We're gonna break out for 20 minutes and you're all gonna choose one of the grantees you'd like to learn more about and do a deep dive Q and A uh, with the grantee. One of our members will be facilitating the conversation and our four outstanding grantees are Sally Awad Asfour, Director of Programs for Arab Communities with the Israel Center for Education Innovation, Fadi Alobra, Founder and CEO of Talent Team, Obadia, Abu Aspa, founder and board chair of Sanad Youth Association, and Reem Yunus Bakli and Dan Sigal, community activists and founding members of Bustan. I'm Sally Awadisfour, an educator and social entrepreneur, a mom of three beautiful kids from Nazareth. I started my career before 17 years in educational field as a teacher, educational counselor, and the school principal. Just before a one year and a half, I completed a nine wonderful year as principal of Azial School, School for Learning Disability. My vision to enable an Arab student to fulfill their potential and enjoy real equal opportunity as any Israeli child, especially uh, children from low socioeconomic status. My vision aligns with the ICI vision and I really was impressed uh, to see the result of the ICI program that they really students with low socioeconomic status can uh, bridge the gap. For me, it's a big success. If we really can break the correlation between achievement and the socioeconomic background, so I decide to realize my vision with ICI platforms. We have a really good program and rich program to the elementary school. In each classroom, we have a library, that include more than 400 titles in Arabic that children use it in every day. We have the pedagogical coach that teaching and training the staff ongoing professional development in the classroom. We're trying to teach the staff how to teach and less what to teach. Another thing that we have is mentor for the principal to help the principal to lead the process of the change. We have also a very important tracking data system that the staff can use to plan programs that fit students' needs. Very important for us also to give a lot of skills, skills like how to listen, how to make an effective dialogue, problem solving, making decisions, a lot of skills that we needed and we integrate all the skills in our pedagogical program at school. I'm really excited to see our pilot in three elementary school. For me, it's a big success. I wish and I believe to give another children this opportunity to get to high level of academy and to be in a good position in our society. This program, it's a game changer because if we can boost literacy and language for our communities, they can be able to integrate and effectively in our society.
Hi, my name is Fadil Obra. I was born and raised in Rahat, an Arab Bedouin town in Negev. And I've been living in Jerusalem uh, for the last nine years and married to Dunya. And together we have a five years old boy called De Majd. Since a uh, young age, I was socially active and engaged in the Arab society in general, and especially in my uh, Arab Bedouin community in the Negev. And with the years, my social awareness led me to become an, uh, a pioneer as a social business entrepreneur. And in that field, I founded and managed several uh, successful uh, social businesses and won several um, uh, local and global awards. And uh, I'm an, uh, a graduate from, of uh, Mandela Leadership Institute and a fellow of uh, uh, Mao's leadership program. And um, I'm a fellow of uh, Echo and Green. Um, back in 2018, together with uh, Deborah Mexic, my partner, we founded Talent Team a proactive uh, agency that uh, specialized in the recruitment of mid-management and uh, executives from the Arab uh, community. We found out that um, Arab candidates usually do not know the role of the game, which pre prevent them to find and um, uh, uh, pursue a proper uh, career path while employers have difficulties in reaching out and identifying candidates from the Arab community. And that's why we uh, provide a holistic solution, um, a career hub uh, that provides candidates with uh, career consulting uh, services and job hunting services supported by a social venture fund and um, service of uh, uh, accompanying uh, the companies and the talents during the recruitment and the onboarding process and since our establishment we have succeeded to create an ecosystem for the scale-up stage uh, we work with more than 300 companies including the vcs and startups and corporates and we have a large number of successful placements in, in the leading companies town team has successfully gained the trust of thousands of candidates from the arab community and hundreds of employee employers and uh, we are partner of uh, um, important uh, um, initiatives such as a co-impact initiative and power and diversity initiative and um, I have I feel privileged to be at the right place in my life to work and inspire to make a difference and I'm very excited for this opportunity to create a reality in which an Arab talent could dream and prosper in their career just like any Jewish talent I'm very happy to be here and hope you will enjoy it as well Hello, my name is Obaida Basbe and I am the founder and chairman of Senate Association. I was born, grew up and live in Jat, located in the central triangle region in Israel. The triangle region has 300,000 Arab citizens. Despite the proximity to Israel's economic center, the Arab residents of the triangle region are facing huge socio-economic gaps between them and the overall society. Due to the systemic failures, however, the civil society in the area is weak and is not being able to fulfill that vacuum. In 2012, together with a group of local social activists, I established Sanat. We saw that many Arab social activists and local organizations that were established to address our pressing needs lacked stable and sustainable frameworks and infrastructures. As a result, they were unable to achieve their important goals. Sanat's vision is to create a cohesive and inclusive Arabic society in Israel that has a strong organizational and individual capacity and which can strategically invest in its own structural development. Through increasing competency, skills and knowledge and harnessing young people change agents, our overall mission is to sustainably develop the well-being of the Arab community. We fulfill our mission through three program pillars that address the needs of the participants and the beneficiaries. Our learning center is the first of its kind in the Arab community and it's a platform for collaborative engagement that works to building knowledge, increase skills and instill commitment to creating social good. Our most recent course is a resource development training program which is strengthening the human and financial capital of 20 Arab non-profit organizations. Our incubator social hub provides guidance and organizational framework and infrastructure 
to support rising social entrepreneurs. Our accelerator program facilitates collaborations between individuals, organizations, and sectors for the benefit of the Arab society. The challenges of COVID-19 in 2020 compelled us to assess the most pressing needs of our communities and to adapt our programs in order to respond to these needs. We are especially proud of our micro-grants program, which gave financial support to 10 initiatives led by both individuals and, or, and non-profits that provided solutions to COVID-19 related challenges in their local communities. We are one of only four Arab organizations that received the Medot seal of effectiveness for Israeli non-profit organizations. We would like to thank the Social Venture Fund for continuing your partnership, which is helping us to continue strengthening Sana to transform our youth and young adults into leaders who can lead positive growth and development in our communities. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Dan Segal. I jointly manage Bustan, a grassroots initiative to transform Nofa Galil into a shared city. I'm a resident of Nofa Galil and also a member of Kibbutz Mishol, urban kibbutz, a mission-driven community in the city and the part of a larger social change movement, the Machanot Olim. And three years ago, after long deliberations, we decided to establish a shared Arab-Jewish community. So in Bustan, we do several things. We uh, develop shared leadership. We bring Arabs and Jews together for uh, community events and also long-term encounters. We act against racism and violence. And we also work to develop our ties with City Hall in order to normalize uh, the concept and also the practice of shared society. Be very glad to go into the details in the session. See you all. In Uki, Akhtar, Men, Tlatin, Bilmiya, Men, Sukan, El Balad, Hene, Arab. The Mufrud, the Likuno, Yani, the Mojudin, the El Balad, the Kuran, the Kona, and the Sharaki, he had me, or Mishishi, the Hue, Yani, Ektiar, Ah, or La, Yani. Bufaka, and the Sharaki, he Mahali, the Humu, can Kun, Ktir, Mnih, Lajami, and Jihad, Yani. Dream, Yunis Bokle, the Sukan, no Fagaril. عايشين بهالبلد أنا وجوزي خليل وولادنا لونا نظير ومريم بشتغل جراحة فك بشفى الكرمال بستان هو فكرة اللي تحولت لمشروع موجود فيها فعالين عرب ويهود اللي حطت عدة أهداف اللي بتعمل مجموعات وأفكار ومشاريع وبتتعرفها بعد كمان أساساً الأطر الثانية اللي بتعملها هي مشاريع جماهرية بالأساس لعائلات تعرف على البلد والعائلات تتعرف على بعض في فعاليات لي فعاليات تعرف على التقاليد عادات أعياد Okay, thanks um, for paying attention here. We are um, about to put you in, we're out, about to open the breakout rooms now. You should have the option in just a second to choose which breakout room you'd like to go to. Just to remind you, um, the first room is with Sally Awad Asfour with ICEI. Second room is with Fadi Elobra for talent team. Um, Obaida Abu Aspa with Al Sanad and um, Dan Segal and Reem Yunus Bakli with Bustan. So we're gonna open the rooms now. You should be able to choose which room you want to go to. If you are not able and are in, stuck in the main room, we can put you in whichever room you want, so no worries. So Sarah, go ahead and open the rooms and um, everybody have a good deep dive into the subject of your choice. Welcome back everybody. Um, 
um, I'm sure if it, if, this, if it was like any other session, I'm sure you were cut off right in the middle of something really important. Um, so now is an opportunity actually for some report back, which um, Alan is going to lead. So Alan, I'm gonna turn it over to you. Um, so, so one thing that, that might be nice to hear from, uh, from, from the rest of you is, you know, something you heard that surprised you, uh, that particularly interested you, that you want to know, that you want to know more about. And if I could just say something about the group that I was in, we were talking with, um, uh, with Sally about, about the Arabic, language, Arabic schools program. And even though the emphasis was on the Arab language, the method of pedagogy is also having a tremendous impact on how Arabic speaking students are learning Hebrew as well. And they seem to be learning it, you know, as a language that you use, not just the language you memorize. So, I mean, that was fascinating for me. But anybody, please, um, I, I would love to hear from you about, about general questions you have or things you've learned or things you want to know more about. Really, really quick. Um, I'm learning Arabic now with uh, other members of the uh, former foundation's um, shared society group. Um, and I just recommend, like you mentioned, Alan, I, I recommend that as many people as possible really want to get to work in this field or in general to be more connected, um, to really go out and learn the actual language and to speak with people in their own language, I think makes a huge difference. Um, and not just, as you said, not just to memorize, but really to do it. And I think that's incumbent upon uh, Jewish and Israeli uh, Hebrew speakers to go out and make efforts to learn Arabic as well. And if I could actually plug here another SVF grantee, uh, the Abraham Initiatives uh, offer some, it, it, it's not in any way thorough, but it's a nice taste of Arabic program uh, that also gives you an exposure to Arab culture, especially to Israeli Arab culture. So, so that could be a great place to, to put your feet in the water. Very interesting session. And there are two strands here. There are important initiatives that are building relations between Jewish and Arab Palestinian citizens of Israel. And there are initiatives that are strengthening Arab society. I'd just like to ask um, our, uh, our, our guests about the balance, between getting the balance right between those two important strands, how they see that, how you see that. I remember this question uh, from the last session in Taipei. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I, I think our strategy as uh, Sanad is to empower the Arab community in order to empower the overall uh, community. I think it's important to work in parallel in the two dimensions. However, it's very important to, to reduce the gaps first. As we work for a shared society only, this is not enough because the Arab community in terms of uh, final situation, educational uh, health, uh, it's uh, in, different, in a very different uh, place. In order to have a healthy balance first, to reduce the gaps and to come to share uh, society from a place of power and uh, a place of uh, healthy uh, parallel uh, relationship, in order to be sustainable, because otherwise you will have a very good connection, but there is big gaps. This is not sustainable. That's why I think, first of all, it's important to work to strengthening and reducing the gaps, and uh, in parallel also working to, you know, like to uh, doing the shared society at the same time. This is our point of view as Sanat. I can say also the, pay, the, the, the same point that the, our goal is to integrate into the society, to, to successful integration with the society. And I believe that we can do that if we will have the opportunity in a higher education. So what we are doing is trying to bridging the gap from early stage to give the chance to all the kids, even kids from the low socioeconomic status that they can learn and going to high uh, level of education. Uh, great. I, I think actually um, in a way to create a, um, um, a shared society means that we supposed to be an equal for the opportunities, an equal in, in uh, quality of life and um, not to make kind of society 
with the Arab superstars and with the Jewish community. In, in a way to be an equal, we, we should and must work to eliminate these gaps and from being equal, um, then we can create uh, a sustainable uh, uh, shared society as uh, Obaida mentioned before. I think we have a choice in, in Bustan whether to do this or that. And I think had we had chosen to uh, do advocacy for the uh, Arab minority, I think at the end of the day, we would have been labeled as those uh, left-wing Arab-loving uh, Jews. And at the end of the day, this would undermine uh, the stance of uh, Arab residents of Nofa Galil. So we prefer to go in the way of making a, a, a place for shared society rather than do advocacy for uh, Arab minority. Our Arab friends can do that perfectly for themselves. Thank you. Uh, um, I want to, yeah. Yeah, Reem, please. Yeah, thank you. I think, uh, I believe share, share society and uh, multicultural sharing is, uh, is, is not the equal equality, is the equity of if what we have, we, we can, if we uh, work to make an equity, to give everybody a, the sources need to, I think it it's will be a better place. Uh, we don't, I think that's no, we can't talk about just equal, to be equal. We, we want to talk about everybody needs or uh, in, uh, different things. And I think uh, from the sharing society, I can uh, say in Nofa Galil, there is a uh, Arab uh, woman who, who left uh, the place where, where they lived uh, because they want to a place that they can, uh, uh, the people there accept them and uh, give him a place, them a place to, to be what they want to be. Uh, so I think there's, no, there is not a, a question in what to do first. I think if we want to succeed, we have to work in both a uh, parallel to, to give, to get a, a better place. Okay, so just quickly, I know it's a wonderful question. I don't know that there's time to answer it, but if you would pose this, it would maybe be a great way to take us out. Sure, thank you, Alan. Um, I put my question in the chat. I'm mostly interested in this framework of shared society. I'm a newer funder in this space, so I wanted to understand if the concept of shared society as a vision for the region, you know, who's imagining that? Who is that a framework that is shared by Arab communities on the ground? Is that a framework that's being superimposed on activities? Um, I'm just really, really interested. Workshops are okay. Well, this is we will definitely reach out to you because this is the beginning of a long conversation. So I just want to close by thanking all of our speakers and participants. There isn't all of you who came. There isn't time to do this. I hope you'll reach out to us. Um, you, you know, I'm not going to solicit in this safe space for you to join the social venture fund, but I hope you'll consider it. Uh, but I also hope that, that you know you will look at engaging uh, with Arab society in Israel in ways like, let's say, it is making it part of your portfolio, your philanthropy. It's a dynamic and interesting and wonderful society that we can learn from and should, should be involved in as people who are committed to Israel. So thank you all so much for being here and I'll see you in the, in the lounge in a few seconds. <laughs>